let's say that we have a conductor of some random shape like this and we now give this conductor a charge q so this charge will distribute itself over the surface of the conductor how it will distribute we do not know but the only condition but the only condition is that the electric field must be zero inside the conductor this is the only condition and this charge will distribute in such a way that the electric field inside the conductor will be equal to zero if we take a conductor we give it a charge q and let's take a small patch like this let the area of this cross section be del a and if the surface charge density is sigma then the charge of this patch will be equal to sigma del a now let's say that we want to find the force on this patch the electric electrostatic force on this patch uh, on this patch alone due to the rest of the charges since we give a charge q to this conductor the charges will be let's say the charges have spread out distributed themselves on the sur outer surface of the conductor so we want to find the electrostatic force due to the rest of the charges that is these charges that are outside external to the conductor and the charges that reside on the outer surface of the conductor except this patch the force due to all those charges now we know that the electric field just outside the conductor will be equal to sigma divided by epsilon naught but this is the net electric field now you may think that since force is equal to the charge times the electric field we can multiply this charge with this electric field to get our force but there are two problems first it is that the when we use this formula the electric field in this case is produced by some other charge let's say we have a charge q and we have charge small q over here then the electrostatic force on the small q will be equal to the charge q times the electric field produced by the capital q charge so this small q charge must reside in the electric field of the capital q charge and also the electric field in our formula that we are using is the field produced by the source charge that is the other charge and over here the net electric field takes into account the electric field produced due to the patch as well therefore we cannot use this net electric field and we also cannot guarantee that the our patch which is sigma del a patch lies inside the net electric field since the net electric field inside the conductor is equal to zero that's why we cannot use this value what we need is the field due to the charges which are not the patch and the elect net electric field that is the rest of the charges that is some charges that are outside to the conductor and these charges that are on the outer surface of the conductor except the patch we can call that electric field as r e s t for rest of the charges electric field due to the rest of the charges now this will be equal to the net electric field which is this minus the electric field which is produced by the patch so let's just write sigma del a now when we take out the effect of the patch from the net electric field we will be left with the electric field due to the rest of the charges so let us just do that we know that the net electric field will be equal to sigma divided by epsilon naught n cap minus and now if we zoom in on a patch let's say that this is our patch and if surface charge density is sigma and any point just outside a patch of surface charge density sigma since this point will be very close this patch will look like infinite and therefore the electric field over here electric field due to our patch will be as we know equal to sigma by 2 epsilon not n cap so it will be equal to sigma 2 epsilon not n cap therefore we can now see that the 
electric field due to the rest of the charges is sigma divided by epsilon naught n cap. But this is for the point outside the patch that is outside the conductor. Now as we already know to use the formula to use this formula to find the electrostatic force the charge our test charge in our case it will be the patch must be completely enclosed within the electric field of the rest of the charges. So to verify we will find the electric field at this point as well. So the, this was the outside the conductor. Now we will find electric field due to the rest of the charges inside the conductor. Again it will be net and as we know inside the conductor net electric field is equal to 0 minus of again it will be sigma divided by 2 epsilon naught minus n cap. Here it will be 2 2 epsilon naught. Y minus over here because n cap is in this direction and the electric field over here will be in this direction that is in the negative n cap direction that is why we have minus so again the electric field due to the rest of the charges is equal to sigma divided by 2 epsilon naught n cap this is value inside of the conductor and outside the conductor as we see they both have the same magnitude sigma by 2 epsilon naught and both are in the same direction. So we can say that our patch is enclosed within the electric field of the rest of the charges. So we can now use this formula the force on our patch so I will write sigma del A will be equal to the charge of our patch which was sigma del A times the electric field due to the rest of the charges. So it will be equal to sigma del A times sigma divided by 2 epsilon naught n cap. So the force will be equal to sigma square divided by 2 epsilon naught the area of cross section n cap. This will be our force. on our patch due to the rest of the charges. Now if you want to find the electrostatic pressure which is just the force divided by area. So we will take force divided by area which is del A. So this will be equal to pressure electrostatic pressure which is force per unit area which is equal to sigma square divided by 2 epsilon naught n cap. This will be the value of the electrostatic pressure on a patch. So this will be the value of electrostatic pressure on a little patch sigma del A. And if you want to write this in terms of the electric field, we know that electric field is equal to sigma by epsilon naught. So we just multiply by epsilon naught and divide by epsilon naught. So it will be equal to epsilon naught sigma square divided by 2 epsilon naught square n cap. Therefore the electrostatic pressure will be equal to epsilon naught by 2 the electric field the whole square n cap. So this will be the value of our electrostatic pressure in terms of electric field. So if we know the electric field we can find the electrostatic pressure on our patch. So this will be our value of electrostatic pressure. On our conductor. So to recap. We had a conductor, we gave it a charge Q and it distributed the charge Q on the outer surface of the conductor. Then we considered a small patch of cross section del A 
of and the surface charge density was sigma so the charge of the patch was sigma del a and we wanted to find the force that is the electrostatic force on the small patch due to the rest of the charges we know that the electric field just outside the conductor is sigma by epsilon not n cap but we could not use this value since the this patch was not completely within this net electric field and the net electric field also included the contribution due to a little patch so we had to find the electric field due to the rest of the charges we we found that easily by taking the net electric field and subtracting the contribution from our patch and we found that for a point outside the conductor it was sigma by 2 epsilon not n cap and for a point inside the conductor it was sigma by epsilon not sigma by 2 epsilon not n cap as we saw that it was in the same direction that is in the n cap direction and the magnitude was the same therefore we could agree that a little patch which is sigma del a was completely enclosed within the electric field of the rest of the charges so we could now use the formula that is of f is equal to q times e which we did the charge was sigma del a and the electric field that we had to use was the rest electric field due to the rest of the charges and we found that that was equal to sigma square divided by 2 epsilon naught times the area of cross section del a in the perpendicular direction that is in the normal direction of the conductor now if we divide when we divide this force by the area of cross section that is force per unit area which is the pressure we got a value of electrostatic pressure as epsilon naught by 2 e square and it was in the perpendicular direction